Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Ill Tutoring. This is another patient edition file. So I'll be talking to you guys about why it's so important to take x-rays. I'll talk to you guys about when you may not need x-rays, when it's not necessary, and when you should actually tell your dental hygienist or dental assistant that no, I will not be taking x-rays today because of this, this, and this. So there are reasons for that. Now, a lot of patients do ask me, are dental x-rays necessary? Because depending on the shows you have seen, you might have read articles, some of them just pretty much say that, that dental x-rays are bad. And we all know that anytime we, you know, x-rays is not something that you wanna have every day because you are exposing yourself to radiation. Makes sense, right? And we all know that that's a bad thing. Um, but if you go outside, the sun is, ex is exposing you to radiation. Did you know that? If you take an airplane, that's exposing you to radiation. There are so many things out there. Your um, TV is exposing you to radiation, your cell phone, your microwave, so all of these things. But dental x-rays are necessary sometimes, not all the time though, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you have a dental office that is taking checkup x-rays on you and you're an adult, every six months, that's too much. And I'm just being honest, that is too much. For some children, we do take x-rays every six months if they have thin enamel, if they always get a cavity, if there's something in there that's telling us, okay, this child doesn't like to brush or floss very much, we do have to, have to take x-rays a little more, more often because we want to catch a cavity before it gets large and you know painful. So actually, I'm going to show you guys my screen before I move on here, just to show you guys what those checkup x-rays look like. So I just found this on the internet. So here is what they look like. So um, depending on the office where you go to, they may have a thing where they might say, take checkup x-rays every year, take checkup x-rays every six months. You know, it depends on the office, but I like to say to take x-rays every year. And that's because cavities like to start right in between the teeth. So this is what we look at. So if you follow my arrow, we look right in between the teeth here. So this looks like the right side and this is the left side. And we can't see in between the teeth inside the mouth. So where cavities like to start is in between the teeth. So if we see a little cavity, it's a good thing to catch it early so we can fix it, it takes 10 minutes, that's it. Whereas if we're taking x-rays say every three years, we see a large cavity, that's not nice because it costs you more money. It takes probably an, an hour or more to fix. And anytime we take away a cavity, we take away enamel too, right? And then that's not your natural tooth. So we have to put in either a, sil um, a silver filling or a white filling to fix that up. And that's not your natural tooth. So it just feels different. You might be eating on it a little bit different. It's not a bad thing, but anytime you don't have a cavity, we prefer that. Small cavities, they're okay. It happens, you know, but we don't want things to get too large, right? So that's why we check in between the teeth, especially for children. Um, because they have smaller teeth. So if the cavity is larger and if it becomes too large and then we do see it into the nerve of the tooth, then the nerve can die and that causes pain and then you need a root canal. Children need root canals too and you don't want that. A root canal again isn't a bad thing, but who wants one? Nobody wants one, right? It's not, it's not something that we want to have. So taking x-rays is a good idea to prevent that from happening. And that's why we take them probably every year just to make sure that we're not missing anything. So what a cavity looks like, and this is actually a good picture. Does everybody see this black area here? So this tooth right here, this black area right here, that is showing a cavity. And that's a pretty large one. You know, um, I'm just kind of trying to find a small black one this tooth over here so there's a little black area right there so that is showing a smaller cavity there's another black area here you know so on and so forth so we do look for those black areas um but it's nice to have the x-rays because then we can have a look at everything too because sometimes even if you're not sore or in pain we might say, oh, there's a black area here, but that could have caused you pain six months from now if we left it alone. 
So let me just stop sharing my screen for a second here. So does that make sense to everybody? So that's why we take the checkup x-rays. So you don't get a cavity and then we don't see it. We let it sit there for years and then it becomes painful. We don't want that. So we like to take the checkup x-rays to make sure that we're not missing anything. And those checkup x-rays we do take every year typically depending on the office so we can see right in between the teeth. And it's not a lot of um, radiation at all. In fact, somebody compared it to, um, and don't quote me though, because I don't know the source directly. It was a textbook, but they said taking two of the checkup x-rays is equivalent from standing outside for 16 hours. So that's not, you know, standing outside for 16 hours is a long time, but it's not a lot of um, radiation. It's not. Um, and these days, if your office has um, digital x-rays, that's even less. It is 50 to 80% less um, radi um, radiation than if they were using the old system with the processor, developer, which hopefully isn't being used nowadays because that has been, that's like old school. So digital x-rays actually allows us to expose you to less radiation. But that's also why you will always wear a lead apron because that helps to protect this area here, you know, because we only want to take a picture of your teeth, not everything else. Now, for those of you who are expecting, so if you're having a baby, let the office know always, because we don't take x-rays on anybody who is either trying to have a, um, trying to have a baby, because you never know, or um, if they are expecting, so if they're pregnant, we will not take x-rays on somebody who's pregnant. Another thing that a lot of people don't know is if you've recently been to the hospital and if they had to take an MRI, a chest x-ray, all kinds of things, we likely will wait to take the x-rays until next year because you had a lot, you've been exposed to a lot of um, radiation at the hospital. So depending on how many x-rays they took on you, we might wait. So always let us know if you've been to the hospital, if you've had any x-rays for anything else somewhere else. Um, let me think. That's kind of the only reason why we wouldn't take x-rays. I might be forgetting something at the moment, but that's a pretty big one. Um, but if you guys have questions, please let me know. If you're not sure if I'm confusing you somehow with something, please let me know because patients do ask me all the time, quite often, okay, do I need these x-rays? Yes or no. And keep in mind that at the dental office, we would not take an x-ray if you don't need it because we don't like them either. I mean, we don't want to always expose people, but if we need them, it's for a reason because we don't want to miss anything. And there are a lot of insurance companies out there that need to see x-rays every certain number of years. If they don't see them, and if you ever need work done, they will not cover you without proof in the x-ray. So keep that in mind too. So if you guys have questions, please let me know and I'll see you in the next video.